If you want to see how I made this warm winter wishes little adorable sign as well as this super cute very and bright sign then stay tuned. On this channel I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor and if we haven't met yet my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. All right kicking it off with DIY number one I'm taking this little pumpkin embellishment off of this little sign and I it's a Dollar Tree sign got it last year Halloween maybe the year before but I'm taking a washcloth and I, it's super wet y'all. And I let it set on there and soak so that I can kind of scrape it off a lot easier. This stuff just comes off, but I really let it soak. In fact, it's so, you know, it's so wet that it just has to dry before I can do anything else with it. But when I'm scraping it off, some of the areas I didn't let soak enough. And so I made some marks with that little thing I was scraping off with. And so when I went back with the Waverly Wax and the Color Antique, it left, you could see the marks and I didn't like it and I didn't think it would look very well. So I tried to sand it down, didn't work. And then I just went back in with a chippy brush and I used some brown paint to kind of roughly paint, not, not super coat and evenly coat, but roughly paint through so it would look like wood. And it does. And I did cut out a decal to use as a stencil. I didn't show you I didn't show you the stenciling part, but it is, it's there. There it is. And so um, now I'm painting it in with the color. I can't remember the color y'all. I want to say it's either aqua or teal. Those are the two colors I was going back between. And I can't tell if this one, I can't tell which one this one is. So, but it's a very soup. It's a very pretty color. And you can really see how I painted that brown on and it just, it turned out so good. I was so very happy with how it turned out because I just was. I was very happy with it. So anyway, I'm not sure why I'm leaving so much footage of me painting in this really pretty color, but um, here we are. I'm painting in this really pretty color, trying to keep inside the lines and trying to be neat about it and make sure that, you know, I don't know. I don't know why that's in there, y'all, so much of that. To embellish it, I take some snowflakes that I got from Dollar Tree. I painted three with that really pretty color that I don't know the name of it. And I painted three with the plaster color. And then I'm just adding them to there. And I thought, you know, that's not enough. So I did go back and create a messy bow that I hot glued up in the corner. I'm still working on my messy bows. But anyway, I think this turned out super adorable. Warm winter wishes. And yeah, I love how it turned out. Let me know what you think below. This video is part of the Christmas in July recreation inspiration playlist. We've got three awesome hosts. They are six kids and a glue gun, crafty art shack and pearl treasure designs. And again, their links to the channels as well as the playlist is going to be in the description box below. I hope you check it out. All right, back to my DIYs. I got this gift tag shape from Dollar Tree. It's in their, um, I was going to say aquatic section. It's in the nautical section. I gave it a coat of the chalk paint in the color plaster. And then I'm using two tags for this sign. And I'm painting this one with the color. It's chalk paint in the color black. I don't know if there's like a special name for the black color, but it's black. And I'm just giving it a super good coat of it all over. You know, some, I don't know why I'm leaving so much footage. Of, I mean, you see me painting a black. What else do you want me to say? <laughs> I don't know. Back to the one that I painted with the color plaster. I'm going to be creating buffalo checks. So you do lines like this, and then you paint your second color, your next darker color, this way. And I usually pull out the tape before it's dry so that it can just, like, I don't know. I do. And then you put tape going the other way. I'm using a little piece of painter's tape as a spacer, so to give myself kind of a guide. Now on this, you're also going to want, you see me marking, this is where the tape wasn't because you're going to need those marks later and I'll explain. So now I'm painting in the, the blank spaces and this is creating the buffalo check and you're going to use those little tape lines that you put down as the indicator where to put the painter's tape back when you put the other painter's tape back. I have an explanation that's a little bit better. <laughs> I'll try to remember to link that up in the upper corner, but here we go. So I'm using black as the third color that I'm using, and then I take it all off before it's dry because I don't want it setting or anything like that. 
And there you have it. Didn't that turn out really pretty? Now you do have to go back sometimes and touch up as you see me doing here. The buffalo check part was the back, kind of like the background piece for this sign. And this is the main portion of the sign. Merry and bright is the decal that I cut out using my Cricut. And I just wrote it in the font. I don't know what font I even used. Um, what kind of DIY? I'm not even sharing what I'm doing, but I used a font that I liked and I just did the dots. And now I'm just using Expressions Vinyl Paper Transfer Tape, which they don't sell in the six inch size anymore, which I'm really bummed about, but because I really like that size. And yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like after it's done. See how nice those go together? I just think it, look, it looks really super cute together. Just pops really well. And this is how it turned out. I love it and I hope that you do too. And I just thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I know sometimes like I ramble on, sometimes I'm like, what is she doing? But yeah, I really do enjoy and love the fact that you guys come and watch my videos every time I put one out. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok where I do TikToks with my husband a lot of the times and or over on Instagram where I just post random stuff, then you can follow me. My handle is Our Grey House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.